Hey guys, what's up? Furious Tick 857 here. Um and this is episode 2 of my zombie weapon guides. <laughs> um so yeah, today we're covering the PM63. It's a fully automatic submachine gun. And uh, you go in the first room upstairs to the right, open the door, 750 points, and it should be right there on the left. Uh, this gun costs 1,000 points and 500 points to buy ammo. Um, it's, as you can see right here, it's pretty good for the earlier rounds, but, you know, still lacking in power. I mean, I'm on round three, and it's taking, I don't know, about three, four, or five shots to kill, so that's really not ideal. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, as I said, this gun is pretty good for getting points together, I, ha I have to say. Um, although I wouldn't really recommend it. <laughs> i uh, just put a bit of footage of me here on the other end, just uh, point horror on these zombies. Uh, magazine capacity is 20 rounds, uh, which is quite low, to be honest, uh, compared to the MPL and, uh, and the MP5K, AK-74, all that kind of stuff. But it, it is still pretty good. You still get exactly the same amount of ammo as the MPL. Uh, so, you know, you can just pretty much choose whatever one you want. Um, I do prefer the MPL, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, and here's a little tip for, for you guys. Um, before, if you're going to go this way that I'm going, before you sort of move out and open that door um, in this room, um, what you want to sort of be doing is making a big train in that room and then, you know, just, uh, just <laughs> you know, making a big rape train and just shooting into the zombie because you're going to get the most points like that. And uh, with this gun, seeing as you don't get much ammo, you're really going to have to be shooting lots of zombies at a time because I think one bullet will penetrate three zombies, I believe. And, uh, I was oh yeah, and uh, this gun is definitely not a good use as a primary gun. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using a compliment to my stake out because, uh, yeah, you can pretty much go either way. I mean, you don't have to use a stake out. It's just uh, any any sort of any gun you want to have as a primary, as long as it's better than this gun. <laughs> um, but I think shotguns are much better for the early rounds when they're one shot kill. Um, oh, I just cut the camera there because I thought I was going to die, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> a camera? What the hell? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you can pretty much rape train with this gun anywhere. But I was just sort of running around the whole map just. Uh, just yet, and so you want you this gun, as I said, you sort of want to have another primary when using this gun because I had the stake out. Uh, it was helping me get out of those tricky situations, and this gun certainly uh, wouldn't really help me with that. Um, you know, it's it's still pretty powerful into this round, but uh, yeah, not ideal. So if you do want to increase its power, um, pack a punch is always available. Um, so this gun, pack a punch, costs five thousand points, and it comes the Tokyo and Rose. So it'll become dual wield and you'll pretty much get a bit of increased firepower, increased magazine size. And uh, yeah, but it's <laughs> still not ideal compared to the uh, the original PM63. Um, it is pretty powerful, you know, it's not not really good, but you know, uh, just a one shot that little crawl there. Um, but yeah, let's move on to a bit more gameplay uh, using this gun. Magazine capacity is 25 rounds per gun, so 25 times 2, that's uh, that's 50 rounds. And um, yeah, <laughs> uh, pretty simple uh, maths there, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, as you can see here, I'm on round 9, I'm just making a simple rape train. Um, you don't need juggernaut or anything like that, because, uh, I don't know, it's <laughs> too early of a round. Um, what you really want to be doing, don't buy juggernaut or anything. Um, what I'd recommend for this gun is the bowie knife, because... It lacks power so much, so you can pretty much shoot a whole mag into a zombie on the later rounds and then knife them, and that's how you're going to get the most points, because you'll get, uh, like, points for the hit marks on the zombies, and then, and then yeah, sort of bowie knife and just shoot them a few times with this gun, and, um, and yeah, then knife them, because it, it will reduce their health quite a bit, um, and then you can just knife them, and it'll be one knife kill, so yeah, that's, that's kind of my recommendations. Now, I don't actually have any gameplay of the bowie knife in this weapon guide, but, but yeah, I'm sorry for that. Um, so yeah, this is a bit of a <laughs> gameplay, it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, this gun, I really wouldn't recommend pack punching I'm sorry guys, but um, it's just not ideal, as you can see here. Out of ammo again. Um, same with the MPL. Uh, these two SMGs are really not good at pack punching um, So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of my zombie weapon guides. Um, ne join me next time, I think I'll be covering the stakeout. And why is that man randomly put up on the screen? <laughs> anyway, don't forget to comment on the video because I need to know what gun you, you guys want to see next. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Peace out.